All right, I'm here with Jordan, and he is going to teach us how to floss your teeth. Is that what we're doing? Sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> we're flossing the elbow, that's what you say. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a common practice, and I'm not one to sort of advocate the treatment of symptoms, but kind of in a pinch, in a bind, you're just getting nagging, kind of stinging elbow pain. This is a good way to sort of transiently relieve some of the symptoms you might be oh, feeling. Okay, nice. Okay, so some people will use an actual floss band, that's a rubber band they'll wrap around, but we can use just a conventional sort of light band, resistance band. The trick is, again, the intent, right? So we've got to think of the anatomy of what's crossing the elbow, what could be potentially causing us pain. So what you're going to do is just start wrapping that through. So if it's more of a forearm flexor issue, you're going to go a little bit higher, tricep issue, a little bit, uh, a little bit, sorry, higher up again, and then kind of tighten a few passes through, kind of getting some direct pressure on whatever's causing you problems. Now from here, we need to think of the bottlenecking of muscular tendon disjunctions that are crossing the elbow, right? Forearm flexors are tying into the medial epicondyl, the triceps are tying in to that olecranon, on that bony prominence of the elbow. The bicep is crossing over. We have the supinators, uh, anconius muscles of the back. So a lot going on. Muscles going to tendons at various positions and crossing over. So we want to create as much kind of circumferential pressure as we can and then go through Try and isolate each muscle to pull on a particular tendon while the others stay dormant under the pressure of, of the band. So okay. starting first, we'll go biceps first. So think of getting the bicep into the shortest position. So it's a flexor, supinator, the wrist. So this is about as short as you're gonna get that bicep. Okay. So that is pulling as hard as you can on that tendon at the elbow. So under that pressure. So from here, we'll think of opposing it going into the tricep. So as we've spoken on before, triceps an extender of the elbow, extender of the shoulder but also an adductor when externally rotated. So we'll go from here and we'll oscillate back and forth. Short bicep, short tricep. Now, and the purpose of the band you're using right now is le less of the distraction or are you using- Oh, no, 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 more so just for that circumferential, uh, sort of that pressure, oh. but also um, an occlusion force. Tendons don't really have the vascular supply that muscles do, so this is almost like a foot on the hose. When, you, when I take this off, you'll see the rush of blood go right through the elbow. Yes. So we're sort of calling blood to the area, not letting it in, not letting it in, not letting it in, allowing those tendons sort of move adjacent to each other in isolation, and then when we're done, let all the blood So now because of that, would you say that this is because uh, what sometimes causes the pain is like this rush of inflammation almost in that area? Almost a stasis of inflammation. So inflammation that stays there and doesn't move. Okay. Right. So that can be a big contributing factor. So it's trying to circumvent some of that inflammation out of the area. So, so that's is, the purpose. I was wondering what, yeah, so you're not yeah, yeah. really trying to create a distraction no, here. No, 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 not for this. No, this is purely just the, the compression and also just that, that blood occlusion to the area. So we'll isolate the bicep and the tricep. We'll also think forearm flexors go through as well, right? So just go through, maybe isolate that brachialis and pure flexion extension. A lot of people get that, that lateral elbow pain coming in from the brachialis, so pure flexion extension and neutral, but also pronation and supination of the wrist. Supinators are the back, pronators in the front, so we'll just go through. This is a big one for me right here. Sure. I've got pronator terrace issues where okay. I, feel, I feel the pain going on yeah. right here. So. so I mean the intent, you'd anchor it a little bit lower, a little bit distal to the joint, but try and just work because the elbow it just isn't the you know the ulnar humeral joint. There's also the radial ulnar joint at the top. That's where you're going. I've never to thought of including the the blood like this and yeah. then actually taking it through these full range of most. Yeah, and then you and come. Yeah, a lot of times. I mean, if again, don't treat symptoms. If there's an underpinning pathology to your elbow pain, shoulder imbalance is a really common one. Treat that. But if you're in a bind, you got to train, you got to meet, you got a competition. You just got to get through it. This is a good way to transiently relieve the symptoms before you work. Oh out. yeah, let's keep it real. I mean, a lot of exactly. people. I mean, better that than to just ignore it and go through it. Right. Right. Exactly. At least, at least we're helping it. But I mean, if you're continuing to have these issues, there's probably some sort of dysfunction somewhere else sure. that's causing that. Yep. Excellent. Awesome video. Listen, if you guys like these videos, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Help us out. We're trying to grow this thing. Help Jordan out, man. If you guys also like this, at the end of this video, you guys will see 30 days of free coaching. There's a direct link after the video. Click it. Check it out. See you guys.